all right my dear so in this video tutorial you are going to learn about ductile material and beaten material and of course i'm going to share with you few inside information about these two materials that's why you can do much better uh, i mean you have better knowledge about these topics so basically what is material you know about it it's all about you know structure and uh, crystalline structure non crystalline structure so which is having mass shape you can say that that is known as material and can of solid also so if you are talking about ductile material and brittle material so basically what are these two things basically these are two properties these are two properties of material okay so these are two properties of material why ductile and why brittle so definitely there are examples of brittle material as well as ductile material right if you're talking about example of ductile material then you can say that aluminium is a ductile material mild steel is a ductile material brittle material you can say cast iron is a brittle material so this is this is about the example of ductile material and brittle material so how you will come to know the material is ductile and the material is brittle of course from the nature you can say this is a ductile material as well as brittle material but what is ductile material basically how you will come to know that would be depend on strain if strain is greater than 5% greater than 5% about 5% you can say then it is known as ductile material if it is less than 5% then it is known as brittle material these two things are most important for understanding the ductile material and brittle material now if you are talking about application where we used ductile material and where we used brittle material then this is really interesting you must i mean i mean you will be wonder to know how these things are working i mean how applications where we use the tile material where we use brittle material suppose that we wanted to elongation you know elongation work is required just like wire drawing wire drawing it's a operation which you will usually probably or usually studied in manufacturing process mp that in we know in short and this is wire drawing suppose that this is a big wire i mean this one thickness and we wanted to decrease thickness of this bar drastically just like any you know any thread then we can do the operation wire drawing and elongation will be taking place where uh, that is then that material is known as ductile material but if you are talking about brittle material then then this is different you know if i'll talk about application of brittle material then you will be wonder to know basically we use brittle material you can say cast iron we used in case of propeller shaft propeller shaft and why we are using this because the cast iron is having great great compressive strength compressive strength cast iron is having great compressive strength and because of this compressive strength we use brittle material what what is the meaning of this the brittle metal is having very good compressive strength okay so you come to know what is brittle material you come to know what is ductile material you come to know application also right so an example also you come to know what are examples of the tile material what are examples of brittle material now most important things how these two materials suppose that i am taking cast iron and mild steel how these two materials materials will work in case of stress and strain diagram that means if we will draw stress and strain diagram then how this materials diagram would be that would be quite interesting to know because stress and strain diagram is really useful really helpful and really important to understand the properties of the material right so let's go for it first suppose that we are going to draw a stress strain diagram here sigma small strain for mild steel here we are going to draw this for mild steel and here we are going to draw stress and strain diagram for 
let's say cast iron this is a brittle material i have already shared with you this is a brittle material and this is a ductile material i already shared with you right now let's go for it let's go for the drawing yeah <clears throat> so in case of mild steel the drawing is like this only i will let you understand what what is what things are going on here and in case of cast iron it's like this only this is a brittle material and most of the brittle material having diagram like this but in case of mild steel this diagram is quite popular the reason is simple we can understand each and everything from this diagram that means every point everything what we require to know in case of stress and strain diagram that's why i am sharing with you this mild steel one also if you are studying any book doesn't matter what book i mean which writer book you are reading you are definitely going to get the stress and diagram they have shown only for mild steel because to it will be quite useful for you and most of the some uh, common mistake we made that is if someone is talking about a stress strain diagram usually we draw this one but it's not the right answer because every material is having different stress and strain diagram remember that so don't mix up with it if we do mix up then probably it will it will not be helpful so try to understand try to understand the basic concept of every topic what you are understanding right so from here to here i'm i'm just going to from a to a o to a suppose that it's you know uh, it's o to a okay a it's o to a it's a proportional limit and till o to a hooke's law is valid and a to b there is little bit you know it's what is also it is also elastic limit and b dash suppose that this is c this is upper yield point this is lower yield point c to d you know properly you know so there is a uh, perfectly you can say elastic region is this and this is the ultimate point and from here to here from d to e it's a uh, strain hardening and this e to f you know the necking region after this after this point beyond this point the material will fracture for mild steel and for cast iron from here to here after this point the cast iron will not be you know it will break even you can say fracture or break that is up to you what you want so this is all about the ductile material and brittle material now now most important thing how these i mean these properties are very useful for you how you can uh, you can get from these properties uh, suppose that you wanted to let me share with you a few decent examples uh, brittle material also you can say glass and how to remember what is brittle material which is br for break which break easily if you just drop from a little bit height the definitely the material will break that's why it is known as brittle material the tile material just oppose it to it so there are many properties of material maybe you know let me share with you a few other properties just like elastic city plastic city and then uh, you can say hardness toughness as well as malleability and then of course ductile brittle so these are all properties of materials if you are a mechanical engineer or you are studying mechanical engineering then you need to know all these properties just like give me let me give an example what is elasticity suppose that steel also is is little bit elastic if you will say which one is more elastic steel or rubber then i must say steel is more elastic than rubber plasticity that means plastic deformation will be taking place because of the force acting on the body hardness basically you know it will resist body to uh, not to be ab abrasion taking place on the surface of the body because of the load applied on that body and toughness toughness is something you know uh, ability to absorb energy in the elastic region is known as toughness and malleability that means the material is having very good machinability that means after machining after machining machining on the material or on the you know on the material which is made up of malleable material will uh, after machining on the material the surface finish will be the surface finish will be 
विल बी जस्ट जस्ट अमेजिंग Malleability, you know, if you are in manufacturing industry, uh, if anybody is uh, in your relative or in uh, your known is in manufacturing industry, then you must ask him or her about malleability. You are going to get lot of inside information from that person. I hope you understand the tile material and beetle material, and of course its stair system diagram, and of course the other properties of material. while well, i'll make other separate videos on the properties of material that's why i can share lot of other things about it i hope you understand that video thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye